Hello there, I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky and looking at Affinity Designer. And what I want to do this occasion is to take the word pause and we want to cut it out from this background here, this poor sort of shape. Okay, so let's uh, see how we're going to do that. Now, what we can do straight away is just to uh, select the both of those there and then go to the Boolean tool. And with the Boolean tool, we want to do a subtract. And we've got that subtracted, except we've lost our word pause. So let's do Command Z on that there and do Command J to make a, an extra copy of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same again. So now I've got um, pause selected. I've got this curve here selected. I actually only wanted a copy of the word pause. I didn't want a copy of the shape as well, but, but I had the both selected and I got a copy of all of it. So I'll clear one of those away and tidy things up a bit. So now we just select those two things and we can go back to the Boolean tool again. And now what we've got is we've got pause here and we've got this cut out in here. So if you need to have these objects as separate objects but still sort of totally lined up, then that's one way of doing it. Let's do Command Z, put that back in place again. Sometimes what you want to do is you want to put a border around this here. And that is not difficult. So whether or not you've done this first step or not, what you can do is just select the text again and put an outline on it. And that's going to be our gap in between the two objects. And we're going to give it a stroke of, let's say, about that much. And then I'm going to put the uh, join on to mitre join. And then I'm going to have it so it's outside of the curve rather than on the inside or in the middle of it. OK, so I'm aligning the stroke to the outside. OK, then. So now what I want to do is I want to convert that to curves. And then I've got it into curves. I want to go to layer. And in layer, I want to expand stroke. So that's got the stroke expanded, uh, but it's still sort of connected together though. So in this menu, we want to click on expand stroke. So I've expanded the stroke. And now as you can see here, we've got this stroke here, this curve here. I'll just move that out of the way so you can see it better. So that is our um, expanded stroke. So that's kind of good. So let's uh, command Z and put that back in again. So now I'm going to take that S, which is the outline, and then I'm going to select the shape underneath it and then use the Boolean to cut into the shape with the outline. And that looks good, doesn't it? Which is what we were looking for. OK, so now I've got to do is I've got to take this here and I'm going to put it towards the back because if it's in front, it's not going to work right. So let's go back one. Let's go back to the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, curve of the W. I'm going to get the curve of the A, the outside the outside shapes that, that we've got there, and that one there as well. So I've got this uh, curve here, this curve here, and this curve here selected. And now what I want to do is I want to grab this one here, which is the bit at the bottom, that we're going to cut into. And again, I'm going to go up to this here, subtract. And now we've got it just as we want it. So we've got the word pause there and we've got a nice sort of outline around it. And that could be just what you're looking for for your design. It wasn't that difficult now, was it? This is Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky, showing you how to do stuff with Affinity Designer version 2. It's time for you to hit the like button to do the good and geeky thing and hack the algorithm on YouTube. And then what you can do, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to the channel so that anytime I put new videos out, you'll be the first to know. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.